Hello and welcome back to my series of PowerShell videos. Today we're going to be looking at new PS Drive and also the get alias function and a few little shortcuts to do with that along the way. So we'll get straight into it. I'm not going to go into the environment today. I'm just going to run PowerShell as it is. So I'm going to start with typing PowerShell and just run that command there. The command that I'm going to use is this one here. So this is new PS Drive and I'm going to give it a name which is testing. The provider is the file system and the root, the folder that it's going to be representing is going to be all those folders there. So this is really handy if you've got a really deep folder structure like this and you just want to jump straight into it. So I hit enter on that and it's created as basically an alias for that folder. So it's representing it. So if I do CD and then testing, put a colon on the end because it is a little bit different to the ordinary change directory. And we're straight into it. If I do DIR on that, we can see the full path there and the file that's in it. We'll jump straight into the alias one now. So we can do um, get alias, like so, and that lists us all our commands there. If you do a, a little pipe of more, you can actually see what's going on there page by page. Do control C to get out of that, and we'll clear the screen. So you've got basically a lot of aliases that represents various different functions, like DIR, you can see there, is get child item, and echo, um, right output. So there's various different ones, um, including the for each loop and all sorts of ones that you can play with. You can create your own alias by doing set alias. And we're going to say for notepad, we're going to have np and we're going to have it opening up notepad. Hit enter on that. And we've got an alias set. So all I need to do now is type NP and Notepad appears. So if you've got a really long complicated name and you just think, oh, I can't be bothered um, with that program, typing it in all the time, or you want to set something up as a, a set pattern, you can do um, set alias within that. There are loads and loads within there to play with, so just play with them. Also going to jump straight into what you can do with the get process, or rather using the aliases for get process. I'm going to use the get process command now and just show you where you can use these aliases within here. So I've got get process here and it's using format table auto size. Rather than typing format table out every time, you can actually just change format table to being FT auto size and it's just exactly the same. You do have, because it's going up more and more and more on the pages there, you can either do more or you can do the pipe again. I'll go into piping on another video, but we can do out dash host, and then we can say paging. And what that'll do is it'll bring it up page by page. And of course, there is a shortcut with that. Instead of doing out host, we can just do oh. So that's using the aliases again. So what I'm going to um, show you now with the get process is something that's a little better. I'm going to use the get process command now and I'm going to select the virtual memory. So that's what the VM field there is. So I'm going to do get process, pipe, select name, VM. I'm going to format the table to auto size and I'm going to organize it a page at a time. So it's selected our information here, just the two fields that we've selected. But the VM, the virtual memory, is all in bytes and looks atrocious and you can't really work out what's going on. We do have a way of getting around that because we can put in a formula into our select statement. So here's one I've got already made. We've got the get process part again. We've got format table name and then we've got this bit of an expression here. It's in a hash table which is um, derived by the at sign you can use for arrays and for hash tables and various different things like that that I'll go into on another video. So let's explain what's going on here. You've got the curly brackets here for the whole expression within that. And you're saying that you've got n equals, well, actually you could call it anything. n is basically name. We call it virtual mem. And then we're separating it by a semicolon. Then we've got e equals, and this is our expression. And we're saying that the virtual memory that we've selected, because we've got dollar underscore, which is the current selection, and we've got vm. And then we're going to divide that by one megabyte. We're also going to format the string 
to be in N2. So that basically means that we're going to put it to two decimal places. If we hit enter on that, it looks so much better. Whizzing across the screen, what I'll do at the end, I'll just put the paging part on so you can see it. You can see that we've got the name, virtual memory, you can see that each process this is taking up. As you can see, I've got Chrome running loads and loads and loads. So there you have it. That's your get process, get alias, and also the new PS drive, which can be handy. Welcome to website of the video. Today's website is pre-post SEO. It's an article rewriter. You can simply take articles like this one here that I've taken from David Attenborough and rewritten into my own words. It's not my own words, obviously. It is a bit plagiaristic, but you can have a go at it and see what you get out of it. Enjoy.